Eagle Stool. I'm Robert Pondexter. This is about Cash Money Records, owned by the Williams Brothers, Birdman and Slim. They're using my song, Without Permission, Love Gonna Pack Up, written by me, my brother Richard Pondexter, my wife Jacqueline Pondexter, and my late friend Ray Lewis. Your artist Bow Wow sampled Love Gonna Pack Up in this recording, Steel Balling, on his album, Green Light 3. Mixtapes is now a big business. It's not like it used to be when you could use them for your personal use. Or you could sell a few copies on the down low from the trunk of your car. But now, mixtapes is a big part of the music industry. You trying to say it's a free mixtape and you're not making any money off of it? Hey, you're not a charity organization. You're using this song here to advertise and sell all of his other albums and a whole lot of other commercial uh, ventures. You can't do that and get away with it. You can go to jail. You can go to jail under the 1997 NET Act, No Electronic Death. Hey, I'm an R&B veteran. Rap was built off of samples. Samples from old school writers and groups like the Persuader. Man, in y'all rap, y'all started off talking about the man and the system and telling me, watch out for the man. And meanwhile, you got your hand in my pocket taking everything that I got. You're making money. You're making cash money. And you can't, just can't take nobody's property. You can't take nobody's property. How would you like for me to come and take your car from you? Steal your car and say, well, I gave it away free so it's not a crime. Hey, we're in court now. I'm in court with you. And hey, I'm going to get some justice out of this. I've reached out to you. I've reached out to Bow Wow's lawyer and his mother. But y'all just out here running a game on me, man. I'm getting too old for this. Sure. I've gotten paid by a lot of rappers. But guess what? I had to fight for every dime that I get, even on Jay-Z's blueprint. Jay-Z stepped up to the plate and paid, but he didn't put my name on the record, and I had to fight for it. Styles P came up with a little cash, I had to fight him for it. Busy Bones of Bone, Stugs, and Harmony came up with a little money, impressed, released one. I talked about 50 Cent and Kanye West doing the same thing. Yo, 50, you stepped up to the plate. You settled the matter with me. You came up with something that we could live with. But Kanye, man, I don't know where you coming from. You out here running, man. I've had the United States Marshal try to serve you. I've talked to your lawyers, Pry and Casman, and they said you told them uh, they can't, they're not authorized to take the complaint from the United States Marshal or nobody. Why are you scared of me, Kanye? Why are you scared of me? Hey, I'll meet you in the ring anytime. The ring is the United States District Court. You, you're doing good, man. Kanye out here trying to rip me off. I'm going to catch up with you, Kanye. Why don't y'all step up to the plate and do what's right? I'm not just speaking for myself, but I'm speaking for all the veterans, R&B singers and writers. We just did this album 
on the persuasion. It's called Love Lessons. We think it's going to be a hit album. And hey, if you want to sample it and show us some respect and give us some play, thank you very much. But let's work it out. Let's work it out and do it the right way. If not, Sheriff Poindexter will be coming to Rap Town to get you, to get us money, to get some justice, and get some respect for hip-hop.